Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market has gone this past week, where we think the market's going in the coming weeks. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures, which is SP500 and NASDAQ futures. So if you trade that, definitely subscribe. But without further ado, let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look at ES on the daily chart right now. We had a nice sell off in NASDAQ. Previous video, I talked about the ratio between NASDAQ and Russell and NASDAQ and Dow and how it's so stretched and so extreme that I think we're due for a snapback and a correction. And I think that honestly, that just started the weakness for NASDAQ. We did have news come out yesterday, which was the uh, Bank of Canada raising rates, and that kind of spooked NASDAQ. Uh, really just had a pretty solid trend down, about 1.7% down the day. S&P 500, though, held up a lot better uh, because the banks were stronger. And I did talk about this recently. I think we're going to have this continued rotation where tech is going to be weaker and where S&P 500 is going to be stronger in the coming weeks and possibly months. And then obviously uh, small caps, Russell will be a lot stronger. So let's go over everything and see where we think the market's gonna go in this coming week. Previously, I talked about how we have this huge divergence with the HYG and SP500. If we bring it to the weekly chart, you can see that we've just been trending down on HYG ever since about the uh, January end of January high on HYG, which is smart money flow. It's basically smart money's appetite for risk. This typically signals a significant sell off about five to 10% from these highs here, 5% brings us down to about 4,100 on SP 500. And I think we're likely to get down there at some point by the end of June, about 4,100, maybe 4,180 by the end of June. Every time we've had this divergence in the past, it's marked tops and we've had significant declines after. Go ahead to your own chart, pull up HYG, overlay it with SP 500 and see how it's reacted over the past two years. Another thing is NYA. So NYA actually started to get a little bit of a rebound, which is the entire stock market. So as you can see, we've had some recent strength here, but uh, overall we've been kind of trending down. As you can see though, recently, because of yesterday, we kind of been poking through before this uh, NYA was respecting all of this trend line here, but we started getting a little boost in breath where all stocks started increasing a bit. And right now it's about 8, 8.13 a.m. So we're gonna have unemployment claims coming at 8.30. We'll see where the market is after that. Basically today, I think we could have a down day, but then if we do have a down day today, I think Friday will be a strong bounce. And I think Friday will actually close pretty green. We'll just see what happens in the coming days. But this is something that we wanna keep an eye on. Last time we've had these divergences, it's March tops. If you go ahead and take a look, last time we had that divergence here, part to top. And last time we had a divergence here, we marked the top and we had a sell off. So we're just gonna take a look at this NYA and see if it continues to respect the downtrend. If it does push up a lot, then it might be a warning sign that we might just trade sideways in SP 500 and this will just catch up to the line because that's also a possibility. Next up is RSP. RSP is equal weight. So we did have a little poke through with breath previously, past couple of days. I had this trend line going down here and we just kind of broke above as well in the past two days. So we're just gonna keep an eye on that right there and see how that performs. However, on PC, the put call ratio, we closed extremely low Tuesday, June 6th. That typically marks tops. I talked about this in previous video, we had it on Friday, then we had it even lower June 6th. Last time we had a top here was February 2nd. Again, you can go back test, look at my last video, I went over the, this. Every time we put the call ratio gets this low, it typically marks the top. We could start downtrending from here, putting in lower highs and lower lows for the next coming weeks. Um, that's what I am anticipating, but I think it's possible we get one more push up, take out the highs, that's how we go to that 43.50 on an ES to 4400 in the coming week or two. And then I think from mid-June to end of June, that's when we really get the real sell-off. I think we'll get a bigger sell-off basically mid-June to end of June, get down to below 4,200 on ES, and we'll get down to about 13,600 on NASDAQ. So on NASDAQ, I have this uh, FIB retracement. On NASDAQ, I have a FIB retracement drawn out from the highs we just put in. If that did mark the high, I think we'll at least get the 38% retracement down to 13,600 by the end of June. Um, I drew this out basically on the weekly chart. We are really extended in the ratio of NASDAQ to Russell and to Dow. So I think we're due for a correction about seven and a half percent or eight percent from the high. And if you just draw the, uh, the correction right here, seven and a half, eight percent, we do get down to about 13,600, which is totally reasonable because we also came into the resistance to the left here from those March, April highs. And that, that honestly to me looks like a good spot to stop for resistance. So if we do get confirmation on this, I think we'll start putting in lower highs, lower lows on the NASDAQ trading down to 13,600 by the end of June. But I do think it can be choppy from now until mid June. We do have news coming out next week. We have CPI coming out. We have uh, FOMC. So once we get past those things, I think we'll have clear direction. But from this week 
to FOMC and CPI, I think it'll be now be choppy. And then mid-June and on, I think NASDAQ will be clearly trending down to at least 13,600 by the end of June. That's what I have for targets. S&P 500, I'm not as sure on because it's been doing a lot of rotation where you know we had all this choppy action. It's so tough because there's so many different uh, sectors in the S&P 500. So there's tech stocks, there's there's banks, and the banks were really weak, and that's why we were chopping around. But now the banks are a little stronger. So because of that, we could see you know tech stocks fall, but bank stocks stay up. So then S&P 500 kind of trades sideways. That's honestly what I'm thinking. It's just it's tougher for me to call SP 500 right now with clear direction. But Nasdaq, it's so it's been so extreme and overextended that I think that we're due for that. Last two things I wanted to take a look at is the dollar and the VIX. So on the dollar, we are pushing up, and I showed this in previous times where when the dollar pushes up and SP 500 and Nasdaq hold up, it, we get a del delayed sell off. So I think we could have started the sell off in SP 500 and Nasdaq where we start trending down. Like I said because it doesn't last very long, where we keep pushing up on the dollar and we also push up on S&P 500 and NASDAQ. So I think we're starting to get that, that switch now. And then on the VIX, we did take out all the lows and now we're pushing up a bit. I think maybe we'll start, we, may, we maybe we've made our low in the VIX and we start pushing up into the 16, 17, 18s. And that's how we start pushing down on, on NASDAQ and ES. Because remember, they inverse each other. I did say in the previous video on the weekend that after the VIX makes a weekly new low, we typically fall about 100 points from the high on ES. And I said we get down to about 4,200 this week. So far, we got to about 4,260. We sold off about 40, 50 points. Uh, we'll see what the rest of the week entails. Maybe we get a little more selling, but maybe that's it. However, what I will say is that this weekly bar now went even lower and broke all lows here. So because of that, we took out even the lows back from June 21st, if you see around those is. So now maybe next week is the week where we get the, the sell off 100 points from 4,300 to 4,200. I will say I am leaning more bearish, but in the short term, I'm expecting a little more chop. Look out for the next video I have coming out Sunday. I'll have more clear direction. I think we'll be choppy into CPI and FOMC about midweek, but then about Wednesday and on, for, from Wednesday of next week till the end of June, I think we'll have a clear downtrend. That's basically what I'm expecting on NASDAQ and SP 500. Happy trading out there. For now, I'm just doing some scalping. On NASDAQ, ES um, basically have more of a long bias. NASDAQ have more of a short bias because ES has been stronger. NASDAQ much weaker. And that's just how I'm kind of trading this market right now. If you did appreciate the video, just give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate the support. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see more of. Do you like these market update videos? Do you want to see more of my trading style? Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post videos twice a week, every Wednesday night or Thursday morning, and then every Sunday at 12 p.m. So look out for the next video coming out Sunday at 12 p.m. Again, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.